Let's go. Welcome to the next episode. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, where we last left off. Apparently, we lost. But I'm not going to lie. We're getting back in the saddle today. It's been a little bit of a hiatus. But it's time to uh, press forward. We don't talk during that part. But we're back with little Vanilla Isaac. And it has been a while. But I feel like, although it has been a while, if I were to guess, it's probably been about somewhere around... 10 to 14 days since the last run was a real thing but I'm not going to use that ring rust as an excuse I'm going to go out and call our shot and say don't get your flu shot I'm going to call a shot like we're going to win this run because not because we want to because we have to you, you got to come back like dare we say Michael Jordan wearing the 45 jersey for those of you guys that may be a little too young to remember, when Michael Jordan first came back, he came back with a different numbered jersey. And I remember as a kid seeing that game and just thought, hey, that's still Michael Jordan. But he's not Michael Jordan because he's not wearing the Michael Jordan number anyways. Let's see, let's get a good item here. Uh, really, let's get something totally egregious to start the run. That's what we need. I was also a quick update on, I was looking at our just our achievement status, we're at 43% of all achievements unlocked. Now, it's, it's something we'll loosely track in this series, but I just feel like we're going to get it naturally. When we get close to crunch time, I'll, I'll let you guys know where we're at, but we got a ways to go in terms of the, those achievements needed to beat the Utah Jazz in game six. Or is it game five? I think it was game six on the road. There's Byron Russell. That Michael Jordan shot. Anyways. Let's uh, see what we got here. What is this? Butter bean. Reusable knockback. There was actually a uh, a boxer named Butter Bean. I, I'd use the term boxer loosely. He was more of a... What do we got here? The runt? Grunt? It's more of a sideshow type act. But he, I mean, he was a professional boxer. He just, he, you know who he looked like? He looked like a King Hippo. That may actually be worth Googling if you've never heard of who Butterbean is. But, oh, nice shot there. How about a little knockback for you? Oh, this recharges, huh? On the same floor. That's very cool. That's not what Butterbean would do, though. Butterbean, he was good for about two rounds. And then he ran out of Crisco. His magical, whoa. No way. I'm getting a little nervous here. Why? Because on our first run back, we can't die. We multiply. Oh, come on, where's his health at? No. This is a not an not an easy or fun, tough boss. We're duking it out. Hang tight, hang tight. Give him, give him the biscuits. Oh! Well, that's our first run, huh? Really? That's not our first run. We're good. we're gonna. <laughs> that was tough. I mean, you come back to that. Now the question is that we can pontificate. I guess we're gonna have to call this this episode Butterbean because Butterbean, if he didn't knock. Knocked someone out in the first round. He got knocked out. That's essentially what happened to us. Oh, Tech 2. All right. Oh, that's cool. It still shoots the other thing. The normal Bazinga, if you will. Um, I was not expecting that, but I guess that's what happens in this game. You call something out and you get cocky. But it's all right. We'll, we'll find a way. We'll, we'll make up for it with Tech 2. I love the lighting effects on Tech 2. It's like... Clark Griswold's Christmas lights. All right. Let's just go right to the boss here. Duke of Flies. Wonder what sort of synergies we'll go with Tech 2. There's only one way to find out, and that's to go, go to the synergy store. Buy them all for a nickel and dime. That used to be an uh, Atari ST game that I played with my sister, like Donald Duck's Playground, where there's a five and dime store. Look that up. That's a legendary kid's game. Mr. Squeeze, should we full clear here? 
I don't think so. I don't think we have enough to call this the righteous land. <laughs> I don't even know why I said Bazinga. I, I'm a loose fan of that show. I mean, I might have seen like, 10 episodes of my life, but it's a good show. Just, uh, I think that the average sitcom is, has changed a lot. It's not, it's no longer a, a sitcom with a studio audience. It's just, it's changed. It's like high quality. Like Modern Family and The Office and that Parks and Rec. It's like better cameras. I'm more of a fan of the traditional sitcom. But you know what? Everything changes, just like Tech 2. Consider sitcoms Tech 1 and consider Modern Family Tech 2, if you will. Sorry, it happens. What do we got in here? Mini Mush, Speed and Range Up. All right. We are now a walking ball of technology. Speaking of technology, I mentioned this in one of the recent vlogs, but I w went through recently a crisis of console where sometimes the shiny object isn't always as shiny. So what do I mean by that? I mean, when the new generation consoles came out on day one on launch day, I chose to go with Xbox One or PS4. I just really thought I, the features for Xbox One were kind of cool and that, you know, I would like it. Also, Twitch streaming was better integrated, that sort of thing. So I have Xbox One for, for a year. And then all of a sudden, I talked to one of my friends, like, hey, you got to get a PS4, you got to get a PS4. So I proceeded to put my Xbox One on eBay, sell it. And then bought a PS4 because there's a lot of good, you know, Christmas deals. And then I end up playing my PS4 for a day and realizing, you know what? I missed the Xbox One. And so I actually took that PS4 back and rebought an Xbox One. And, you know, in the end, it, it wasn't, it was kind of a wash. But not really, because I probably in the transaction I may have lost four games in the process, but may have maybe made a hundred dollars. So I guess you could say it's the opposite of a wash; it's a loss. So if a if a wash is a w even, what would dirty wash be a loss? That's what it, we're talking about, anyways. So I'm happy to have my Xbox One back, and all that is shiny is not gold screw tears and shot speed up what do we got here devil deal enough about that Krampus I am enjoying our tech run though it's a nice it's a it's a nice lazy man's run we can just stand in one space and pray and spray without really the spray it's more of a pray and hold Wow Krampus is getting the best of us when someone's getting the best the best Wow. Krampus is not a fan of the Foo Fighters, I'll tell you that. Uh, our ring rust is definitely showing. That's okay, though. Give us this. Should this, this should be black tech. What? We want black technology. Let's go pick up this heart because we need, to, we need to up our game here a little bit. Should we look for a secret? We only have one bomb. You know, sometimes one bomb is all you need. If you're a guessing man, which we are. You mither. Alright, we're out of here. Damn. Oh, the, the tech is black. I like that. Nice job, Tyrone. Let's press forward here. As Butterbean would. I've actually, Butterbean was fun to watch. I used to be a fan of boxing back in the day. When they were true heavyweight champions. Good, a lot of good, good personalities. Great fighters. Now it seems like. People are all about that UFC life. It's like, that's, that's brutality. But I guess you could say the same for boxing. Just not my cup of tea. I know a lot of people are really into UFC. And more power to you. Feel that passion about something. Where you go buy the action figure and good for you. But Isaac prefers boxing. I'm making that blanket statement. If Isaac had to watch a brutalization or a fighting sport, he would pick boxing any day of the week. But I think, I'd like to know if you guys concur with that. Alright, let's take out these green 
Walkers here. Let's get focused. This is going to be a good run. Bruh. See, then our tech needs to be farther away. So the farther away our tech is, the more damage we have since we have Krampus' coal. Alright. We got action. Alright, let's go find our item room, shall we? Shan't we? Shant. Is that a word? Shant. It's got to be a word. Shant? Maybe it's an iteration of a word that's not supposed to be a word. Look at that. It looks like a blackened lung. Too many Marlboros. We're getting Lewis lit up right now. Alright, as we press forward here, taking out the Peter Parkers with our tech dose. Looks like we're missing one. Gwen Stefani is playing in the background. That's it, huh? Alright. No item room here for us. That's okay. We're gonna find it, though. Bet your bottom dollar on that. Wait, why do they call it a bottom dollar? Or do they, maybe they don't call it a bottom dollar. No, bet your bottom dollar. Wow, isn't that an Annie or something? Lord Huxtable, not Huxtable. What's that guy's name? Pennybags? Warbucks. Daddy Warbucks, there you go. Alright, see I know my I know my show tunes. The sun will not come out tomorrow though. Not in the basement. Alright. Greed heads. It's It's not the finest. This is a tough room here. Let's get out of here in one piece. Preferably two pieces. Tech two though. We need a we need a little more DiMaggio upgrade on this Technus. Technus Everdeen. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna YOLO swag that. I found pills. Alright, looks like our item room's gotta be in here. Alright, you you pay the price, what are you? Bloat. Bloat wannabe. What do we got? Chemical peel. DiMaggio up, that's what we needed. Look at that face though. He's got crumbs on his face. What is that? Alright, we could use a heart here. That's all right. Let's keep our monies for Ben Stein's. Oh, we don't want to go in there. I want to save our our number dose key. All right, what do we got? Who's our boss? Who's our boss? The husk. All right, that should should never happen. Oh, buddy. We got lucky there. We should probably should have took some Dimaggio. That's okay though. Keep it on him. No. All right, Huskola, take your tamale husk out of here. All right, HP up, and that's what we needed. That's what the doctor ordered. Take a quick sip out of my Gatorade bottle. Let's keep things keep things rolling here. Curse of the Lost. This is the second time we've seen these guys. On this, well, maybe on the the run that we died. I'm unaware. I'm unaware. Action, Jackson. All right, double greed heads. See if we can. I'm trying to see if our Dimaggio's is up on the tech or just our shots here. One would think it would be on the, the tech, but Trollo. All right, so curse of the lost here. We're going strictly off memory. And we have the memory of young squirrel. So let us press forward here. Get these bras out of here. Wow. There we go. Up oh, one more. There's always one. There's always one straggler. Alright, let's press forward here. So there's a double key room there. Off the old waffle iron. What's left? Gl super glatin. Gelatinous cube. Get them out of here. Surprised he hasn't done like a quad shot type deal. Ooh. I would like that. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for a chariot, not chariot card, hanged man card. All right, I think we're relying a lot on tech. Where maybe we should focus on our tiers here a little bit too. It's all right though. Real quick, state of the union. Our consumables are. We're very lean right now. A very lean startup. 
Seven cents, two bombs, three keys. Our DiMaggio is okay. Our health is okay. This is kind of an okay run. Which means we got to play better than okay if we want to win. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, we'll, we'll run for one cent. These guys were super rare in the original. If I'm not mistaken. Could be mistaken. I don't know what's in there. We're looking for our item room. Have you seen it, Mel Gibson? I'm looking for my son. Hangman. There it is. We'll get that at last because we don't want lard to slow us down, which it inevitably will if you were to eat a lot of lard. Which that's what really Crisco is, right? I was in the I was at the store the other day and I was buying vegetable oil. And I'm like, is this really vegetable oil? I don't Oh wow. It's an interesting room right here. Is there really that much oil and vegetable or is it human engineered? You know it's human engineered, but Whoa. But, I mean, really, why call it vegetable oil if it's not really vegetable oil? Then right next to it was canola oil. What the heck's a canola? Another made-up thing. All right, let's, let's bomb this. I'd like to actually get the Soli and the Red Heart, but not that other guy yet. But still, we're looking for our item room. So let's try south of the issue here. You die, you die, you die, you die. Alright, good. I wonder why it, we've been, that's a tinted rock. Bet your bottom dollar on it. Take double. We'll take that. So the, those guys are just about to type in. Hey Dan, you left a, a tinted rock. No, I didn't. But it would be ironic if I did, did leave one. Somewhere else. There it is. That, I probably did. And probably on floor one, you're like, hey, Dan, you, you did miss it. Well, you know what? Michael Jordan missed some free throws, too. I'm not comparing myself to Michael Jordan. I'm just saying. What do we got here? The Emperor. Challenge me, huh? Dead Sea Scrolls? It is a mystery. Battery, huh? Okay, so that just does random things. So, really what we want to do is we probably want to go pick up this lard so we don't forget it. And we'll pick up the Emperor card for a rainy day. There it is. So, we'll go Q. Slow ourselves down, but wow, we really slowed ourselves down. I feel like there's something to the right we're missing, but that's okay. Actually, let's get our Emperor card here. And then... Might as well go pick up those additional solis and that eternal heart and go fight our boss. Actually, we got enough. Oh, you know what we're missing? We're missing, um, there's that double key room. If we can pick up one more key, we'll do it. We are not a holler back girl, though. All right, as we press forward here, let's go ahead and... Actually, you know what? Just in case, let's not forget that eternal heart, though. Let's not forget it. The dark one. Give him the dark one. The fastball. Keep away. Keep away, sir. So we want to keep him at a distance so we can give him those coal balls in the face. So that he gets it as a not Merry Christmas. We're doing okay here, though. He's going to do something nasty. He just turned the lights out. Do you ever meet someone that say, shut the lights? Or say, turn the lights on? Hit the switch? Shut the lights. Shut the lights? Is that what they say? I have some friends, they all, they say it a bunch of different ways. I'm like, hey, I just say, turn the lights on. I say, shut the lights. Anyways. Oh, wow. What do we got here? HP up. I think we're going to say Gimpy and leave the nail. Yeah, I will take it. Temporary demon form. Yeah, we'll take it. Let's go get our eternal heart, though. Shut the lights. Shut the lights. All right, let's do this. The quick sick. 
Had a quick sig, a quick sip. And what do we got here? Necropolis 1. We got a little nail action. I need to, I need to learn what this, how the nail does. Whoops. Okay, so it doesn't take anything from us. Why did I think the nail took like a heart from you or something? Either way, we're in temporary devil form. That'll be good for some boss fights. Oh, and we can smash rocks too. It's legendacious. Let's get these clowns out of here though. Whoa. I'd like to keep our solely buffer here. That buffer of souls. There you go. We'll still smash everything. Super Smash TV on the original Nintendo. Alright. We're gonna smash these, why not? It's worth the trade-off. Without a doubt. Death card. Tower. What's our best card right now? Probably keep death card for now. Open up sesame. Unicorn stumped. Doesn't work. Only works sometimes. Sometimes it works 100% of the time. Alright, let's do this. This is a dangerous trap. Doesn't that red grow back? Yes, it does. Go! Alright. <laughs> let's do this. Get out of here, you bone... Chucking mithers. Alright, what do we got? These guys are deception deceptively. Very tough. Alright, keep moving so mom's hand doesn't make us pay the ultimate. Oh, she got us. Alright, well we know what we're dealing with in there. Oh, there's a lot of Peters. Don't get cornered. Then you'll have to choose between Blake Lively and the other Spider-Man. Alright, let's press forward. What's uh, what's that guy's name? Tobey Maguire and the other guy. The guy from Facebook movie. John Mundy, I think that's his name. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep dancing so we don't get mommed up here. You don't want to get mommed up. Last thing you want to do is get mommed up. You're at the roller skating rink, you're 11 years old, you see that girl that you wanted to go out with, you ask her to roller skate with you and then you, you get mommed up. Mom comes and says, hey, it's time to go, put your pajamas on. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if that happened to you. Maybe this, there's a small chance that one of you guys are watching this that actually happened to. What do we want to do here? At some point we're going to have to donate. do it now. It's, not, it's, 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 it's the season of perpetual hope. It's, it's the giving season. Alright. I should probably just buy this guy too, just in case. Alright, let's do this. So this is cleared. What else we got? Keeping an eye out for some tainted rocks. Oh, baby. Love it. Still don't know what that does. Besides make us all happy and feel good inside. Kind of like watching a, a Griswold movie. What do we got here? Should we bomb it up? Yeah, why not? Two cents. One bomb worth two cents. We're going for the gold, Huck. Give us something great. Alright, that worked out for us. Alright, hollowed. Hollowed. That's a bush song. That's a good song. That's our first, uh, that's our first freaking trinket of the new century. Bush is a very underrated 90s band, alternative band. If you've never listened to them, you got some classics. Machine Head. I don't know what that means, but it's a great song. God. Breathe In, Breathe Out. I don't know what the name of that song is. Wow, we're getting bamboozled here. Like, like silver chair. All right, Butterbean, let's get this rally going. Keep your distance. Hit them with the coal balls. Coal balls. There we go. All right, as we press forward here, 
What do we got? Another. Getting some monies. Ben Stein style. All right. Nice. Nice. Okay, so quick stay of the union here. We have the nail. We have Gimpy. We have Lardo. We have... We have another damage upgrade. What was that damage upgrade? Oh, uh, chemical peel. Are we leaving anything behind? I don't think so. It's time. Any tinted rocks in here? I don't think so. It's time to fight. Use that space bar item hype. Get them. Couple coal balls does the trick. Coal, coal ball streak. Stay away, stay away. Good. We can take out. That's good. So we took out that rock. So now we can snipe him. The, the higher ups. No. Did both of those hit us or just one? All right. Your time is over here. Whoa. Oh, we're slow because we're freaking lardy. Lardy. Come on. No, we don't want to get touched, because then we're going to lose our Devil Deal. No. Die. All right. Devil Deal hype. Got to meet them all. Reusable Fly Hive. That's a tough decision. Guppy's Collar. Ooh. What do we do here? Attack flies every room. Or the nail. Let's keep the nail. Because we've used Guppy's head a lot. We'll nail it up. Temporary demon form. Let's do this. You got a shot here. We go from rags to riches here. Necropolis too. Get your... Get your tickets from the sticky Taco Bell cup. I disagree with that. The thing, the John Blaze is gone, wasn't it? That was weird. Probably deserved a little bit different than that. Or probably should have played it much more cautious, but sometimes throw caution in the wind like an old piece of gum. Oh, gosh. All right, you, come on. We got to clean this up. That's how you clean it up. I'm just trying to figure out why did our, our health just went up randomly, right? Um, I'm not going to say that was not worth. Especially because there's some worth right there. That's okay. We'll find a way. All right, so we got double, not Duke of Flies, but whatever you call that jabroni. How about you cry about it? All right, good. We're going to keep dancing here. We got plenty of health. Let's get rid of the... The symptomatics of the influenza right there. Get him out. Took that to the face. Just as we planned. Nope. Alright, take out the gatekeeper, never the shopkeeper. Keep him from a distance, Sarah McLaughlin. From a distance. Die. Die. Oh, God. All right, we're hanging tight here. Let's go get this card. Oh, let's wait. Let's not forget about the card, but... There, good thing we waited. Get that item instead of... Gamble Nation on that card. All right, we'll take it. Rosari. Rosario Dawson. Faith up. What's next? Ooh, two bombs makes this a nice trip for the ages here. I'm going to say that's going to be a great card. Sun card. Sun me up. The moon. I wish I remembered what the moon did. I know that's embarrassing. It was to take you to the secret room. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to that. I always mix, mix up the moon and the stars. Alright. As we take out the hollow, we'll try to take out his bowling ball friends. Nice. Nicely. Look at that. They, they got those little troll eyes. They look like records. Like, records. Like, legit records. Alright, what's down here? Blue map, Soli. It's by, uh... By Soli. Maybe we'll get the blue map one of these days. 
Let's press forward here. Blood machinina. Machinima. Machinery? I am McKenna. I watched Mathis play up for a minute or two. Played a what's that? Uh, Oculus Rift game called I Machina or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, no quote me on, on that. Die, 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 die. Okay, good. So as we're taking out these word bunchers, we're gonna take Mom on here full force, shall we? Let's do it. Become temporary demon form, make her pay the ultimate. Okay, no panics. No panics, just dancing. Bruh. The bruh guy from Vine. He's a Vine star. Oh, you got us. Oh, you got us twice. You didn't pay for dinner yet. Where's you hear you hear a scream? Where's the foot? The foot's coming. Give her the biscuit. Bob Evans. Jesus, who goes still? Who still goes to Bob Evans? All right, that's okay. Pa don't panic. Do not panic. Give her the eye. Right in the eye. Well, how does she? She gives double eyes now at times, huh? Double eyes now at times. Come on, a few more shots here. Oh, should get that last hit on us. Alright, I don't know what this does. We need to figure out what this does. We're taking it. The negative fate chosen. I don't know what that does. Let's press on though. Having a good run here. Good run for all. Get us in there. Maybe not worth. This is worth though. Hmm. Should we try to... Let's bomb a couple here. Thank you for those two cents, sir. Let's press forward. Alright, do a quick save of the Union after we take out Hello Kitty here. Hopefully. Whoa! That's the first time Hello Kitty's been on the loose. Maybe eventually they break it. That makes sense. Alright, quick save of the Union. Two Solis, five Reds, a Nail, Cuba Meat, Chemical Peel, 13 Coins, four Bombs, one Key. We got a shot. We got our work cut out for us, but we got a shot. That's all you all you want in life is a shot. All right. Ooh. We have to rename this enemy because uh, in light of current events, I hope that there's we know this is not an enemy. Who, all right, who can we name this? We can... Officially name this enemy what? Who else likes Jello pudding? Or Jello? I don't know. It's gonna be tough to rename that enemy. What was that? Whoa! This would be, this would have been a great death card room. Stay on him. Probably should have stayed on him from the beginning. Alright, just stay on him. Stay on him. Quickly. Thank you. Whoa. Can we just send him a curveball or something? These guys are timed up. Oh, God. Wow, that's tough. It's a tough room for us. Let's go get these hearts, though. Kingdom hearts. Alright. Let us press forward. Okay, so we bounced back a little bit there. Thanks to the over canonization of those hearts. Let's head south. We could. Why not? Nothing left to save it for. What are we playing for here? Maybe another orbital would be nice. No orbital for us on that one, even though. Ooh, nice. Dime piece. We'll pick that stuff up. I'll, I'll drop a bomb there. We haven't seen an arcade yet today, have we? I don't believe so. Oh. Paralysis. It's not what the doctor ordered. 
trying to catch those things before they go off to the promised land. Alrighty. Careful. Careful, like walking on broken Christmas ornaments. I would consider using a bomb for half a heart. Let us press forward here with these swinging gates. Die, die. Okay, good. Keep, it, keep them at a distance here. Keep them at a distance. Alright, like your friend who listens to Raffi at age 18. Oh no! Wow! How does that happen? I can tell you how that happens. Not careful play. That's alright though. We're gonna, gonna hang tight here. Take out the gatekeepers, not the shopkeeper. All right. We could a uh, Rumo heart here would be clutch. Need that Rumo heart. All right, this is fine. Tell you, tech makes you lazy. I think, just like in real life, technology is a, makes things better, but also makes you a little bit lazy. So we really don't have to work for these kills. We can just hold the button down. But you may argue, with Dan, that's actually working for him. That's true, but keep him at a distance. There we go. Get these guys out of here. Most underrated, difficult. Hershey kisses the side of the Milky Way. Die, die. Alright. Alrighty. Cleaning them up left and right. Sweeping streets. Like Ernest Saves Christmas. Here we go. That's on Netflix, by the way. I watched like 30 seconds of it. I watched the Touchstone Pictures Presents and then I turned it off. <laughs> I should probably give Ernest more of a chance than that. It was good as a kid, anyways. Alright, get out of here, Super Nintendo boss. Wow, he cut us off, cut off our lane. Alright, we'll take a heart, though. Oh, we left our Emperor card in the dirt, didn't we? That was foolish. Then again, we have been playing this game very foolish, foolish. Alright, we got our Headless Horseman, huh? Slow him up. Slow them up, slow them down. Get rid of one of these guys quickly. Quick. No. Alright, thanks for giving us a little room there, buddy. Look at his teeth, man. He's got those buckies. Alright, that works for us. Ooh, that's tempting. May go for a little, little trip down memory lane here, see if we can find anything of value. Why not? So we're, we're in need of some value value items right now. No harm in... Oh, buddy. I say there's no harm in trying, but... There is a little harm. Just trying to keep harm at bay. Alright, died. Get rid of this guy first. The roly-polies. Alright, that was good. We traded a little, a little action for a half a heart. That works for us. So this also helps with our large situation. So we have full health here. Should we get greedy and do a full clear here? I'm considering keeping this. Over the nail. I know that's probably egregious, but... What are you going to do? This is egregious to go in here. That's not a boss room, though, so we'll do it. And that could be interesting. We have a lot of tough decisions to make here. I wonder if there's anything that allows you to have two space bar items in the game. Just lost our solely, that's okay. If there was, it's definitely... Might be definitely t start time to thinking about adding that double space hype. Locust. Locust stance. Keep him, keep him away. See, we're getting lazy with that tech. That tech lays. At least we're getting some hearts to, to defray our life insurance costs right here. Should we try ramming them? That worked, kind of. Who's next? 
Alright, this should be a straightforward fight. Keep it on him. Get four for one. Should get three nougats right there. You get three sec parts of the segmented worm. Anything less than victory will not be accepted on this butterbean run. Oh. The Bible. It's tempting. I think we may have to... I don't know, man. We got an interesting situation here. Do we think we can do it without? That is the question. Why am I doing a full clear? You never know what you're going to find. Like a room like, just like so. I'll tell you what, the flying is its pretty darn good. Permanent flying. But we're get, what are we sacrificing flying for? We're sacrificing DiMaggio and we're sacrificing an instant kill on the heart. The stars, the hermit. Huh. Magician is garbage. Keep the stars. Hmm. Alright, so we have either the, the horse, the Bible, or the nail. What's going to serve us best in the long run? Probably the nail. But let's... Eh. We want the guaranteed victory. Got to do it. We got to get there, though. See how, if you don't have flying, life is so lame, though. Not life, but it's not, not a lame run. It just changes life. All right, we're going to take the Bible. Or the nail. Bible. All right. I know, I know. Maybe some disappointed members of the studio audience. But you know what? We're going to find... Whoa! We got to get there first, right? So at least we know if we get to the mom fight, or to the heart, we'll be alright. We got to get there, though. That's inexcusable. Maybe the most static enemies in the game that have dealt a good amount of damage to us. Yeah, we'll take it. Pretty fly, that's good. Thank you for that. Ew, what are those things? Those holes? Hang on to this for right now. How about you die quickly? Oh, up, up, don't shoot us. Oh, no extra life. No extra life. Butterbean goes down in the 12th round. It's a miracle he made it that long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I encourage you to hit the like button. Hit, hit the like button helps support the video. Helps support the channel. Helps support your face and helps support Butterbean's comeback tour. I'll see you guys next time.